got a big storm coming, but I gotta get the alternator changed on the vet, so we gotta do it quick. And it's not because the alternator's failed, however. I think the alternator pulley is no good. I've, uh, uh. I've changed the belt twice now at this point. Changed the idler pulley, changed the tensioner. The harmonic balancer seems to be just fine. There's no wibble wobble. Everything seems to be, to be fine. Um, but the belt is slipping, I can tell. Uh, at least early on, when I, if I were to say pull this out of the garage and kind of get a little aggressive in my driving right away. Um, I can smell a little bit of rubber. Now the, this, the chirping goes away after I put a few miles on the car, uh, like every morning, for example, and then it seems to be totally fine. So I don't know if things loosen up or what the deal is, but uh, we gotta change it just to try it. I mean, I'm going crazy now at this point. Should be fairly straightforward, so just, I guess, let's jump right into it. Pretty simple uh, project today to take on if you are going to uh, swap out an alternator just in case that's the issue for you. The alternator itself was working seemingly fine for myself. I didn't have any issues with low voltage or flickering headlights or uh, any weird whining or crazy noises. What I had was a chirping, uh, kind of a, a consistent rhythmic chirping coming right from this area when the vehicle was cold. Once I got it warmed up and run down the road it seemed to go away uh, but you know, putting my ear to it, it seemed like it was coming right from this area. So we went ahead and changed the alternator. Pretty simple project. What we need is like a, a breaker bar here, an extended ratchet potentially, so you can uh, push the tensioner over, which is a 15 millimeter socket. You want a 10 millimeter wrench of some kind uh, or socket to disconnect the battery. Um, and also a 12 millimeter, it might be 12 or 13 millimeter to actually disconnect the nut on the back of the alternator. Factory alternator was a 12, uh, my replacement nut was a 13, so just be prepared there. Uh, and probably like a, uh, you know, something to pry with or a flathead screwdriver because this area here is pretty tight in the bracket, so you might need to use it to pop it out. But that's. Now that I got this off, I'm messing around with the pulleys a little bit. I'm wondering if it might be power steering. I don't know, it really sounded like it was just right here when I was listening, but 
Doesn't mean it's not from down here. I hear it kind of, how it could potentially be whining. I do not think it's supposed to be quite that tight, but she's not going anywhere. I just gotta make sure your belt is rerouted properly. Gotta say guys, if you're interested in making your C6 Corvette a little bit faster, I got a red light bandit throttle booster that is going to be up for a giveaway coming up here in the next few days probably, or maybe maybe a week or two, we'll see. But you wanna be following along here on YouTube. The giveaway will probably be done through Instagram, but I wanna let everybody that's here on the YouTube channel know about it as well. So uh, follow along here so you don't miss the announcement video and go over to my Instagram, Speed Culture Studios, make sure you're following along there so you can get yourself entered to win this. Again, the official announcement will be coming probably in the next week or two. One, well, we will run the giveaway for about a week and then we'll do the drawing and a lucky winner will be able to make their C6 faster in probably 10 minutes or less. Pretty exciting. Last test is to uh, fire it up, see if it works. Ah, gotta connect the battery. A little concerned now, testing out the alternator. Seems pretty quiet. Doesn't seem to be dragging or anything either. But you just never know. At high RPM, it could be a totally different story. So, ah, nervous. better. Let's see. Oh my. Did we get it? Sounds pretty quiet to me. I think I hear an exhaust leak at the manifold. Ah, never ends, guys. It never ends. Golly. Well, one step at a time, I guess. Got that annoying chirp gone, so that's good. Engine's pretty quiet. Okay. I'm feeling better now. She sounds so good, too. One problem we have is the windows. I've done a short, we've done a short on this one. You have to sort of like uh, whatever you want to call it, recalibrate your windows now because your battery is disconnected. So turn accessories on. Roll your window all the way up, and then hold this for about three or five seconds. One, two, three. 
four, five. And then I think you do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. It went down. See if it goes back up when we shut it. Boom. Donezo. Thanks for watching this one, guys. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. A lot of stuff coming for the channel. Hope you follow along. See you.